They are arriving in silence, slipping past the outer planets and gliding toward the inner sanctum of the solar system as if summoned. A sudden influx of icy wanderers has appeared, not in the ordinary drip of one comet every few years, but in a coordinated rush, a genuine swarm. Rarely in modern memory has Earth witnessed so many at once. Each carries a tail stretching millions of kilometers, a veil of gas and plasma that interacts with the sun in ways still only dimly understood. Why now? Why altogether? And what hidden message do these cosmic trespassers bring with them? Astronomers track them with calm precision, logging their paths and calculating their distances. Yet behind the numbers lingers unease. The timing is uncanny. The sun itself is restless, nearing the peak of its natural cycle, throwing off eruptions of light and matter. Into this furnace pour the comets, their charged atmospheres brushing through invisible fields of magnetism that bind the solar system together. Could their arrival push the sun toward greater violence? Could a rush of comets during solar maximum act as a trigger, unleashing storms that might ripple across Earth's fragile grid of satellites and power lines? The ancients would not have hesitated to answer. They looked at such arrivals and saw omens. A great tail sweeping across the sky might foretell the fall of kings or the outbreak of famine. Today, humanity prides itself on science and reason, but the questions feel hauntingly similar. In a time of global uncertainty, as human technology grows more dependent on the steady hum of electronics, what would it mean if the heavens turned suddenly against us? Within this influx, one body refuses to behave as expected. Catalogued as 3 I Atlas, it drifts forward like a phantom, its aura far larger than its solid heart. Surrounding it is a shroud of gas and dust so immense it already measures nearly 700,000 kilometers across, almost half the size of the sun itself. Such scale is not normal. Most comets remain subdued until they draw close, yet Atlas blazed into activity while still far beyond Jupiter. Was it born different? Or did it gather strength wandering through the dark between the stars? There are whispers among astronomers that Three-Eye Atlas may not belong here at all. Its path and speed suggest an interstellar origin, a foreign visitor that slipped into the solar system from a distant star. If true, it carries with it the chemistry of another world, dust grains forged in alien furnaces and ices frozen under alien skies. In late October, it will swing behind the sun, invisible from Earth, a ghost hidden in the glare. When it emerges, will it look the same, or will its vast veil have stirred the star into greater unrest? It is not alone. At least six other comets are inbound, each threading the solar system with its own unpredictable arc. Some will skim frighteningly close to the sun, diving within 50 million kilometers, closer than Mercury itself, where the heat is enough to tear them apart. Others remain farther out, languid in their orbits, their tails stretching across the sky like spectral banners. One of them, known as Lemon, has the potential to brighten enough to be seen with the naked eye. If predictions hold, it will appear in early November, glowing faintly above the horizon, a cold messenger lit by the fire of the sun. But predictions about comets are notoriously unreliable. They can flare suddenly, becoming brighter than anyone expects, or they can crumble to dust, fading into nothing. The possibility of surprise makes this swarm even more unsettling. Skywatchers wait, telescopes ready, wondering which of these icy travellers will reveal itself as the true spectacle and which will vanish like a rumour. At the same time, Earth itself is caught in the geometry of their passage. One comet will slide to within just over 37 million kilometres of the planet, Another will trace its path along the ecliptic plane, the very highway where the planets orbit. Such alignments mean Earth and its magnetic shield may feel the subtle brush of their plasma. Most of the time this means nothing more than auroras dancing in the high atmosphere. But in rare cases the interaction of cometary plasma with solar storms can distort magnetic fields enough to cause unexpected effects. History records such disruptions, but never before with so many comets arriving during such an active solar cycle. For now, astronomers peer through their instruments and record what they can. They measure brightness, note tail lengths, compare them against models. One comet's tail already spans more than two degrees of the night sky, five times wider than the moon. 
Another may soon rival that display. Each measurement is precise, yet the larger picture feels unfinished. Like clues scattered across a mystery, the data hint at something larger than the sum of its parts. Because in the end, these comets are not just icy relics. They are conductors in a cosmic circuit carrying plasma, responding to fields, sometimes igniting reactions that ripple back to the sun itself. Their paths are written in gravity, but their influence may extend through electricity. And with so many inbound at once, the question becomes unavoidable. Are we about to witness a convergence that could change both the sky and the sun? The choreography of this swarm also raises questions about origins. Astronomers suspect that such sudden influxes often trace back to distant regions of the solar system. The Oort Cloud, a hypothetical sphere of icy bodies surrounding the sun at nearly a light year away. A passing star or the tidal pull of the Milky Way itself may have jostled these frozen fragments from their slumber, setting them on a slow inward fall that only now becomes visible. To imagine this is to grasp a kind of cosmic time bomb. Objects dislodged millions of years ago are only now arriving, as though the universe itself keeps a schedule we can barely perceive. If this is true, then the present convergence is not random. It is the delayed echo of gravitational whispers spoken long before humanity ever walked the Earth. And if one comet in this cluster truly hails from beyond the solar system, the implications stretch even further. Every molecule in its halo would be a sample from another birthplace of stars, carrying the chemical fingerprints of environments we have never seen. In its wake lies the possibility of answers about how common life may be across the galaxy, or how rare. Each particle of dust, invisible to the naked eye, could carry secrets of alien worlds, folded into the glowing veil that now unfurls toward the sun. The weeks ahead promise a spectacle in the skies, and perhaps far more than spectacle alone. Astronomers have long known that comets can act as triggers in the solar system's delicate electric web, but with so many arriving together during the very crest of the sun's cycle, the atmosphere among researchers is a mix of anticipation and unease. The data streams in daily, yet what remains unknown could prove to be just as important as what has already been measured. Consider what happens when a comet approaches the sun. Its frozen nucleus awakens as heat pours in. Gases boil off and dust is released in torrents, creating an expanding envelope that glows under sunlight. Some of this gas is quickly ionized, stripped of electrons by solar ultraviolet radiation. Once ionized, it ceases to behave like a neutral gas. It becomes plasma, sensitive to magnetic fields and capable of carrying currents across vast distances. A comet, then, is not just a ball of ice and dust. It is a dynamic plasma generator, a moving participant in the electromagnetic fabric that binds the planets to the sun. Now imagine not one but several comets releasing such streams simultaneously. Their tails stretch for millions of kilometers, brushing against invisible fields that extend from the sun to the far reaches of the solar system. Could multiple plasma streams arriving at once amplify each other? Could their interaction with the heliospheric current sheet, the giant rotating electrical surface wrapped around the solar system feed back into solar storms? Some researchers entertain the possibility, even if the precise mechanisms remain debated. What is certain is that cometary material has on occasion been linked with sudden, unexpected solar outbursts. There is historical precedent that continues to haunt the scientific imagination. In 1843, a brilliant comet dove near the sun and produced one of the longest tails ever recorded, stretching more than 200 million kilometers. Just days after its passage, observers noted violent solar activity. In 1811, the great comet of that year shone in the sky for months, its arrival later remembered as an omen during Napoleon's march across Europe. In 1910, Halley's comet passed by Earth and sparked widespread fear as scientists of the time discovered traces of cyanogen gas in its tail. Newspapers printed sensational claims predicting catastrophe if Earth moved through it. The planet survived unscathed, but radio signals and atmospheric chemistry showed faint disturbances. In 2013, Comet Ison swept perilously close to the Sun, only to disintegrate in the furnace of its perihelion. 
Hours later, a coronal mass ejection erupted, though debates continue over whether the two events were linked. Each episode left behind the same question. How much influence can a comet truly wield over the Sun? In this current swarm, the presence of 3i Atlas complicates matters further. Its behaviour is not only abnormal, but also unsettling. Unlike its companions, it showed activity far earlier, suggesting reserves of volatile compounds that are unusually exposed. If this body is truly of interstellar origin, its chemistry may differ in profound ways from comets born within the solar system. Carbon dioxide dominates its halo, but there may be exotic ices or dust compositions humanity has never studied up close. When this cloud of alien material interacts with the solar wind, what unexpected reactions might unfold? For Earth, the implications are not merely abstract. In today's hyperconnected age, society relies on a fragile lattice of satellites, power grids and communication systems. Strong geomagnetic storms triggered by solar eruptions have the power to knock out satellites, disable GPS and collapse power networks across entire continents. The infamous Carrington event of 1859 fried telegraph systems worldwide when a colossal solar storm swept past Earth. A similar storm today could cripple digital infrastructure. With multiple comets releasing plasma into an already stormy solar maximum, the risk of enhanced activity looms. It does not mean catastrophe is certain, but probability curves bend upward, and even a slight increase can have outsized consequences when the stakes are global. At the same time, the comets themselves are messengers of cosmic history. Each nucleus is a frozen time capsule, preserving chemistry from the birth of the solar system, and perhaps, in the case of interstellar visitors, from the birth of other suns entirely. By studying the dust and gas, scientists glimpse conditions that prevailed billions of years ago. Some theories even propose that comets delivered much of Earth's water and seeded it with organic molecules, the precursors of life. To watch such bodies pour into the inner solar system now is to see echoes of the very forces that made life possible. And yet, the resonance with human history cannot be ignored. Comets have been recorded as omens for millennia. The fall of Rome, the Norman conquest of England, the death of emperors in China were all accompanied in chronicles by fiery apparitions in the skies. Whether coincidence or causation, the link is engraved in the collective memory of civilizations. In this modern moment of upheaval, with nations uneasy, climate strained, and technology advancing at breakneck speed, the sight of multiple comets returning at once feels like more than astronomy. It feels like a cosmic reminder that the heavens move to their own rhythm and humanity is still at the mercy of larger forces. October will be a month of shadows and alignments. Three-Eye Atlas will vanish behind the sun, a giant ghost hidden from human eyes, while another comet slides past Earth at a mere fraction of the distance to the sun. November will see lemon brighten, perhaps blossoming into the most dazzling sight of the season while other bodies skim perilously close to the solar inferno. December will close the procession with the return of a known periodic visitor, completing a cycle of appearances that spans months but could influence years to come. Each step in this sequence is another clue, another ripple in the puzzle. For now, humanity waits. Observatories track each nucleus, Radio telescopes listen for disruptions in the solar wind, and satellites measure every burst of radiation. Amateur sky watchers prepare for cold nights under open skies, hoping to glimpse glowing tails arcing above the horizon. Somewhere in the faint streak of dust across the stars lies a story as old as creation and as current as tomorrow's headlines. Will these comets simply pass, leaving beauty and data behind, or will their arrival mark a shift? a catalyst in the restless dialogue between sun, earth and cosmos. The mystery deepens with every calculation, every new set of images returned by observatories. The scientists admit what the ancients already knew. Comets inspire questions far beyond their icy cores, questions about destiny, fragility and the place of humankind under an electric sun. Questions that may not be answered until the last of this swarm has passed and its influence on the solar system has played out. One thing is certain. The coming weeks will write themselves into both scientific records and human memory. 
Whether through awe-inspiring displays of light or through subtle but far-reaching solar disturbances, this swarm of comets is a chapter that will not be forgotten. So as the skies grow restless and the heavens seem alive with wandering fire, now is the time to pay attention. Look up, watch, and wonder, because the story unfolding above may shape the story unfolding below. The cosmos is speaking, and together we can spread the message. And if you found this exploration compelling, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget to tap that hype icon to help push this video into a larger audience.